So it's May 2020. The reason I give you the date is that these videos tend to stick around on YouTube for some time. And to give you an idea why I'm looking at this project is that the country is on lockdown. Uh, the coronavirus uh, has affected our normal everyday way of life and has certainly infected bell ringing. All the churches are closed, uh, the ringing centres are closed and the only way that currently that we can ring or practice is to use a keyboard and virtual belfry or able or bell tower and practice learning methods by pushing keys. Now I've only been ringing for three years and consequently I feel I I can do that but it doesn't give me that, that sort of progression that I want um, and that you can only really get by being on the end of a rope and it doesn't matter whether that's in a mini ring or we're in a dumbbell or actually in a tower. So I thought about whether I could actually buy a dumbbell and install it in my house. I looked around on what I had available within the house where I could put it and I've got a good loft above the garage. Uh, it's where I do my electronics projects, it's where I build the cymbal systems and downstairs in the actual garage there is about nine feet of headroom something like that which is a reasonable draft for a uh, for a dumbbell and I thought okay should I buy one uh, I looked at the Womble I looked at the Saxelby simulator and I looked at Matthew Higby's simulator all three of which I have rung on at the art conferences and I then looked at the the price tag that inevitably you have and I know that the lead times are actually quite long. Now we don't know how long we're going to be in, in the situation we are, how long we will be um, unable to ring in church and consequently it got me to think well actually I'm reasonably practical, um, I have some materials lying around in the garage that potentially I could use, so lumps of MDF and chipboard and uh, odd bits of steel and things. Um, so why don't I do a scrap heap challenge and actually see whether I can build myself a working dumbbell to install into my loft uh, with a four or five inch hole in the floor, uh, which I'm sure my wife wouldn't notice, uh, down into the, the, the lower garage and see whether I can set myself up with a, a system where I can actually practice uh, ringing. I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, why don't I film it? Why don't I put it on YouTube? Why don't I ask uh, for input from other people? Um, I'm sure that there's a lot of you who are engineers and practical people who will see big holes in the things that I'm proposing to do. Uh, so I'm more than happy to receive your comments, receive emails from you, or even give me a ring. Um, anything which I can do uh, to uh, in, to make the, the system workable has got to be good. Um, so there will have to be some elements of cost. I don't have things like bearings available to me or bearing housings and uh, I don't have shafts of steel shafts available to me. Um, so some things I am going to have to, to purchase but to be honest, um, you know, if I can keep the cost down to about £150 um, in total then I think I will be delighted. So this is the first introductory video. Uh, I'm looking to complete this within a month to six weeks. Uh, so the stages I have to go through will be the design. Uh, then I have to obviously find the, uh, uh, the materials. Uh, I then have to do the basic build, I'll then have the installation, I'll then have the troubleshooting and at any point in those I may have to go back a step because something didn't work. So it'll be fun, it'll be something different and I thought well why not create a series of videos um, and uh, bring you all into the, uh, into the project and let's see where it goes. So this is the Dumbbell Scrap Heap Challenge. I've got six weeks 
um, and 150 pounds to spend um, first stage is design so I'll get on with that in the uh, next video I look forward to seeing you soon